Hey all, so kind of an exciting day. Uh, just got my hands on a uh, brand new uh, Ruckus i100 IoT module. So this is gonna be the start of something awesome for, uh, for Ruckus and our customers. Um, so basically, I just thought I would give you a uh, what's in the box and show you, you know, what's included with the module and then how those uh, integrate into existing access points. Um, so later on in the, in the series, we'll do a, you know, actually setting up the, uh, the uh, uh, Riot server and, um, you know, how to, how to get devices uh, connected to that server and, and see some results there. But for now, let's have a look at, uh, at what this includes. All right, so open up our box here. We have a quick start guide. Then we have the module itself. So just a USB module. It's got a sticky on the bottom so you can stick it to, uh, to the ceiling or to the access point or something later. We'll show you that. It includes a USB extension cable. So this is just a pretty straightforward extension cable to extend it outside the AP if you need to. This is um, for an extension for the external APs. We'll look at that in a second. And then lastly, there is a uh, cover for the bottom of the uh, of the hospitality uh, H series APs to cover up the the uh, module so people don't run off with it. So let's have a look at how that works. So the first one start with the H510 here. So normally this goes in the in a wall plate in the wall, right? So it's uh, primarily built for hospitality, but it can be used anywhere. Um, so the AP mounts on the wall. It's got a four port switch in the bottom with uh, one PoE out, and then there's a USB connector here. And on the back, there's the, uh, the ethernet input, right? So, uh, so it will go in the wall. So you just insert the USB module into the USB slot, and then it comes with this handy cover here. So what you're gonna do is snap that on and then screw it on on the side. Now I've got the screws in there, so I can't get it on at the moment but you would normally take these safety screws out, snap that cover on, and then screw those in so that, uh, you know, so that someone can't run off with your module. So that's the hospitality AP. Uh, next we'll look at the um, R510. So the R510 indoor AP has uh, two ethernet ports on the back, has a, a DC input, and then over here it has this USB. So, Really what you're gonna do with this one is you're gonna take this USB extension cable, plug it into that USB port, and then bring it out and plug the USB module in to that extension cable. And then you can stick it to the ceiling or stick it to the AP or wherever you want. Okay, and then lastly, the outdoor AP. This is a T310. Uh, so you can see that it already has this extension, uh, this cover on it. So you're just gonna unscrew that cover the uh, USB port is underneath that, so you're gonna plug the module in and then take the extension cover and cover up that USB. Screw it in and it will be completely waterproof uh, when that's done. So the module itself, um, it could be configured in the, uh, in the VRIOT server either as BLE or as Zigbee. So you can configure it either way. Um, and uh, later on, we'll have access points that have uh, the the uh, IoT circuitry built into the access point, but for now you can still integrate it into your existing access points. And um, you know, as I said before, this is the start of something great for us. So stay tuned. Uh, later on in the series, we'll talk about how to get that server up and running and how to uh, how to integrate various components. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you again.